Hey guys, it's Clay with Minute Ministry with episode 100. So, um, whenever I started back in March, I didn't really, I mean, I, I knew I wanted to keep on doing this. I felt like God was telling me to keep on doing this. So, here we are um, in August and yeah, 100 uh, episodes in. So, I uh, told my wife what I was thinking for the 100th episode and she kind of gave me this, ah, and it made me rethink everything. So um, I've changed it up. Um, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a testimony. This isn't a testimony that I share a lot, um, mostly because people believe different things. Um, but whenever I was in college, um, a friend of mine invited me over to his house and we were hanging out and he was like, you know what, man? Um, I want to share this song with you. And he's like, um, this is an awesome song. And um, the story is that an angel is singing on the track as well. I was like, okay. I mean, I, I'm skeptic by nature. So I was like, I'll, I'll listen. You know, I'll try it out. And um, I started listening to this song. It's a long song. It's by Jason Upton. It's called Fly. And um, so I'm listening to this song. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is nice. And I'm sitting, you know, next to the chair on the floor, and, uh, you know, carpeted floor, and just kind of, kind of just listening, really dissecting, really being a skeptic. And then all of a sudden, at this certain point in the song, it was like the Holy Spirit just came in and just really filled the room. And it was just heavy, and it just kept going, and it kept going. And it was like, wow, I, I was... I was just enthralled by God who all of a sudden just showed up in the room and I was just amazed. And my friend came over and, uh, you know, because he was sitting, you know, a little bit away, he came over and he was, you know, he said, hey, you want to pray? And, I was, uh, and so he prayed for me and I'm sitting there and I'm like kind of basking in this and um, I was like, okay. And I started um, closing my eyes and I started praying and him. As I'm doing this, I start to see this little like white and blue light, and I'm like just praying, and I'm I'm feeling pretty good, you know, like, and this white and blue light started to get a little bigger and a little bigger, and as this is happening, I feel something inside my chest, and uh, it's like a, a cracking, and you know, like this weight, like started to drop off. And, uh, you know, like, uh, it just, it happened and I, I'm getting closer to this white and I'm starting to be able to, uh, to picture this and I'm getting closer and closer with my eyes closed. And as I'm doing this, you know, like I'm, as we're getting closer, more of this, it's almost like my whole heart was covered in this big, huge rock that fell and hit the ground. Right. And it just cracked and then all of a sudden pieces are just falling off everywhere. And as I got in my uh, eyesight, you know, like, uh, you know, with my eyes closed, I, I'm looking at this um, blue light and it's starting to take shape. And I see the base of a throne and legs sitting there and this blue and white light that's kind of like reflecting, you know, out. Um, and it was just, uh, I just kept on getting closer. And it, it, the weight that kept on falling off, it felt like I was floating. And so I was like, I would open up my eyes, you know, the first time I like grabbed onto something because this weight that was coming off of me, it made me feel like I, like I was floating. Um, and so as I'm, uh, you know, praying more and I, I close my eyes again, I'm, I'm like kind of doing one of those. So I'm like closing my eyes long enough to be able to see what, you know, like this. And then opening my eyes whenever I feel like, no, 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 I can't float away. Um, and this, you know, experience lasted, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, um, you know, through all of it and all this weight that came off. And um, this was one of the, I mean, it was obviously this was an amazing experience and um, it's not something I take lightly. Um but what God kind of showed me through this, because I don't think, you know, I think testimonies always kind of build us up and they're for other people. It's not, not just for yourself. And so um, what I kind of, what I learned from it, I, I realized I was getting closer to the throne. And as I'm getting closer to the throne, the things that were weighing me down, the things that were holding me back, I, I didn't do anything, you know, like 
they just started falling off. They couldn't stand in the presence that I was getting closer and closer and closer towards. And, you know, like, I, I'm, I just think of the scripture, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added to you. And so as I'm like, you know, reflecting on this, I'm like, man, sometimes we fight battles that we don't need to fight. We need to go after God. And if we instead put our focus on seeking God with our whole heart, some of these other things that are distracting us, some of these other things that are, you know, weighing us down, they wouldn't be there anymore. The other thing that I figured from it is I was like, wow, all this weight that was inside of me, I didn't know it was there. It wasn't like I felt like a weight all the time that I was around. I mean, I'm sure there was things, you know, here and there, but there was weight from traumas and different things that I didn't know were there. And so um, it just, it really emphasized the importance of, you know, like getting close to God. Because if I can tell you anything, um, you know, like I I think of the quote um, by C.S. Lewis that says, um, you know, Christianity, if false, is of no importance at all. But if it's true, it is of the utmost importance. There's nothing that could be more important. And that's what I'm going to tell you. It, there, there can be no more lukewarm Christianity. Um, you know, like, and I know that's true in my life. Like, you can't be half in, half out. And, you know, like, as you're seeking and you're going down your, um, your own, you know, path in life, your own journey, you know, like, you've got to make that decision. And the decision's got to be, you know, like, hey, am I all in or am I all out? And if you're all in, then seek first the kingdom of heaven because as you're getting there, the things that has you distracted, they're just going to fall off. There's not going to be as much work as what you think because God calls us to co-labor because he wants to build a relationship with us. He doesn't call us to co-labor because there's a lot of things that we can do that he can't do. It's the fact that he's building a relationship. And so that being said, guys, thank you all for all the people that have supported me over the last uh, 100 episodes. Um, I'm taking the rest of the week off to celebrate, and we'll be back on Monday with uh, episode 101. Um, And we've got some new things eventually in store. Hopefully, um, you know, with uh, this little break, I'll be able to get a a little bit more editing done. Um, You know, the software is still kind of in flux, but... I think I have some other ways that I can I can make these videos a little nicer. So um, I appreciate it, and you guys, thank you for spending a minute.